In today's episode, we'll be discussing the status of overdrives. We'll also be telling you about development plans for this year and challenging you with a mega vlog stunt. Hello, tankers. Holidays are over and we're all back to school or work. So how's it going for you? And how's it going with the challenge? Tell us in the comments below. Last week, we promised you that in upcoming episodes, we'd be sharing more development news with you and telling you more about overdrives. So it's not looking good. Overdrives are still causing problems. With each new test we run, we're finding more bugs to squish. We know many of you are eagerly awaiting this new feature. The few who aren't either don't know about it or still haven't understood just how cool overdrives will be for the game. But while you wait, here's some new information specifically related to Vikings Overdrive. The increased firing rate. It turns out this effect will not be as crazy as we saw in episode 194 of the vlog due to technical issues with displaying too many shot effects, which is decreasing FPS, so we've had to tone it down. That said, the increased firing rate will still be enough to wipe out an enemy base or a crowd of tanks on a gold box. Moreover, we're compensating for the reduced firing rate with a significant increase in damage for the duration of the overdrive's active time. Let's all be patient and wait together. And let's hope the gods of coding decide to smile upon our programmers soon. Global Development Plans There are loads of ideas flying around here with new and interesting proposals for both gameplay and visuals, but we'll be talking about them later, when we get closer to the actual releases. Our main goal for Tanky this year is to minimize the number of tankers playing the Flash version and get them to shift to HTML5 and mobile versions. To do this, we need to improve the HTML5 version to a point where it's far superior to Flash. At the same time, we'll be updating the game interface in the browser version, because it's been long overdue. Then we'll be able to implement the optimization developments from TO Mobile into the desktop version. This should improve performance significantly. And by that, we mean an improvement of 2x or more. Some of you may have noticed a tiny mistake in one of our drone descriptions, or rather, an inaccuracy. The engineer drone not only increases the active time for any supplies that you pick up. When you grab a supply box, all teammates on the map will also get the power up for a brief time. Cool. The mistake has already been fixed, so now the description is correct. If you've been playing tanky for any length of time, you're probably familiar with the beginner's tips that shows up while a battle is loading. Here's where we need your help. We want to include even more tips on this loading screen. Do you have a special gameplay tactic that you've learned from experience? Or maybe an unusual way to perform a common maneuver? Share it with us and let's help educate new tankers together. Submit your ideas in the special form. The link is in the vlog's description. Video of the week. Last time, we gave you the freedom to shoot anything you please, but you have to do it on a winter map while wearing the black paint. Let's watch the best video. For next time, you're gonna have to undertake a mega vlog stunt. Here's your task. On the matchmaking version of the future map, launch as many tanks as you can onto the tallest building. The more tanks you get on the building, and the higher you get them, the better your chances of winning. Each tank that lands on the building is worth a number of points, depending on where it lands. Tanks on the lowest level are worth one point. Those that land on the mid-level are worth three. And finally, those that make it to the topmost level are worth 5 points. Let's say a team has 5 participants. Two of the tanks reach the topmost level, two reach the mid-level, and one lands on the lowest level. This gives the team 17 points in total. Here's one more example. And another one. The team with the most points at the end wins. Now the rules. Use regular gravity. Team size is limited by the map's capacity, 16 people. So in theory, the maximum number of points you can get is 80 if you participate with 16 tanks and get them all on the topmost level. 
The video must show the whole process of performing the trick. There's no time limit for the video, but please try not to make it too long. All team members and their nicknames should be clearly visible so that the organizers can calculate points accurately. It is forbidden to use the plasma torch alteration on Ricochet. Deadline for the videos is 9 a.m. UTC on January 23rd. That's a Wednesday. Remember, no need to rush. This time, the number of points is all that matters. Now the reward. The team that scores the highest number of points will receive 1 million crystals to share between themselves, plus a weekly container for each tanker in the team. So if you've got the guts to try it with a team of 5 tankers and actually win, you'll be getting 200,000 crystals each. But that won't be easy. Anyway, the detailed rules are in the special form. The link is in the description. Good luck! That's all for this episode, tankers. Remember, the challenge is ending soon. So keep collecting those stars. See ya! Last week, Hammer fired at three tanks simultaneously. You had to guess in which sequence the tanks would explode. The correct answer is C, B, A. That's option F. Let's welcome our winners and watch the new question.